What's up everybody? It's Anis here and welcome to another episode. This week we're in Saint-Tropez here in the south of France and about to tour this stunning Mediterranean estate. This property is phenomenal, has an amazing backyard with an infinity edge pool and the interiors are paired with exquisite finishes and the whole property looks towards amazing views of Saint-Tropez. And without further ado, let's begin our tour. From the street level, we have the gates opening up to a long private driveway that brings you up right here where we have the motor court of this property. As you're driving up, property is beautifully landscaped. In fact, on the left-hand side, you can actually see the caretaker's home. And as you're driving up, you can get a real sense of scale of the property, again, beautifully landscaped. And you come right here where we have the motor court. You can probably park up to 12 cars here or a little bit more if needed. And even here, it's super private, palm trees around. Now, we have this walkway taking us to the property, stucco finish on the exterior. We have tile roof design above. I love this manicured olive tree on the right hand side. And since this house is a Mediterranean estate, we have a lot of these tranquil and landscape elements throughout, like this water feature off of the covered entry here, steel columns giving it that nice modern look, two walls consoles on each side, and we have the front door here. Let's go inside. All right, everyone, here we are at the entry. We got this beautiful glass pivot door that welcomes you to the house. And as soon as you walk in, you see walls of glass facing the amazing views of Saint-Tropez and the sea. We're gonna check out those views in a bit. Now, where we are on our left wing, we have the family room and the primary bedroom. Staircase going down to the lower level and right behind me, we have the formal dining room area. Now, before we continue our tour, I wanna to give a little bit of information about this property. We're looking at eight bedrooms, 620 square meters of interior space. That's about 6,673 square foot. We have a 5,406 square meter lot and the market value of this property is somewhere around 25 million euros. That's about $29 million. Now, although this property is not available for sale, it is available for short-term rentals starting from 100,000 euro per week and you can find more information about the property down in the description of this video. Now, continuing our tour, we have the formal dining room area, beautiful solid wood dining table right in the center with the epoxy finish that sits 14 people. Above that, we have a gorgeous chandelier, cove ceiling light detail, built-in speakers, recessed lights, you have everything. And on this side, I love the polyform built-ins with the LED lighting. And of course, this room is very spacious and all these sliding glass doors open up to the balcony that we have on this level, which we're gonna see in a bit. Now, this room flows straight this way. We have a pocket door here opening up to the kitchen. Off of the entry, we have a small dining area with a beautiful marble table with brass edge. And focusing here, we have all these windows and sliding glass doors bring natural light to the kitchen. Now, this kitchen has a very sleek design. I love the two-tone contrast. We kind of have this island leg here, I'm gonna say, with flat cabinetry, quartz countertops, sink. On this side, we have the melee induction cooktop with two griddles on each side. Above that, you have your commercial vent, and we have this door opening up the service hallway with more base cabinets and the oven setup. Now, continuing our tour, we have this panel door opening up to your fridge, and right next to that, it's a detail we like, Mikey. These doors open up and tuck into the cabinets here, where you have some open shelving, more base cabinets, and a Nespresso machine. Before we continue with our tour, I wanna to thank Cometeer for sponsoring this week's video. Everyone who knows me knows that I love coffee and I can't start my day without it. But what I don't like is preparing coffee with the setup, brewing, and cleanup. I think a good amount of my morning time gets wasted. 
And this is why I wanted to tell you about Cometeer and thank them for partnering with me for this video. Cometeer isn't like other coffees. Cometeer is barista quality coffee, brewed better through science and flash frozen into a first ever 100% recyclable capsule that locks in flavor and freshness. With their unique capsules, preparing your coffee is so much more efficient. The coffee is grounded, brewed and frozen into this capsule here and it's ready for you to drink right after you mix it with water. On top of that, they partner with the best regional specialty coffee roasters so you're sure to get a fresh and delicious coffee experience. Cometeer delivers the coffee right to your door, frozen in a recyclable packaging so everything is designed to be super convenient. You can go for eight ounce of hot water for hot coffee, eight ounce of milk if you wanna have a latte, and since winter is around the corner, I'm actually gonna make myself a hot coffee. We have the capsule here. All we have to do is open it up, pour it into some hot water, stir it, and it's ready to drink. Now that's hot coffee, but I'm also gonna make a latte for Mikey. Same thing here. Let's add some ice and some milk to our Cometeer cup, open a new capsule, pour it into the cold milk, and stir. Now only one thing left to do. Let's give this a shot. Wow, it's super smooth, really well balanced. I, I like that it has a little kick to it. Overall, great coffee. And as you guys saw, it literally took me no equipment to make, super easy. Mikey, try yours. That's a tasty latte. For the first time, I'm able to make delicious iced coffee and lattes at home in minutes with no equipment. I don't need to go out to a coffee shop for a great coffee. Cometeer is my new favorite morning routine for an incredible coffee that also saves me time and money. For a limited time, Cometeer has a special offer to our viewers, to our fans. You get $20 off your first purchase if you click the link in the description of this video. That's 10 capsules of free coffee, and as always, you get free shipping as well. Thank you, Cometeer, for sponsoring this video. And now, let's get back to our tour. I love a good coffee nook or a good book nook. Really, any kind of nook I'll, I'll, I'll take. I mean, this goes with the contemporary lines, but yet once you open up these doors, you have your open shelving, kind of everything you need. It's a nice design. All right, right next to that, we have the wine fridge. Below that, we have a small freezer. Everything you need. Now, this kitchen opens up to the front-facing balcony. This sliding glass door pockets into the wall, and we have this amazing, spacious outdoor space here. Off of the kitchen, you have these bar stools, and right next to that, you have your outdoor barbecue area with some built-in cabinets, induction cooktops, and your Viking grill here. By the way, how nice it is outside here, Mikey. I mean, tell the people. Yeah, we get these amazing ocean views from Saint-Tropez. The weather's really nice. We're actually heading back to LA soon, and uh, I'm gonna miss it out here. I mean, it's super nice. Look at all the trees, scenery, how quiet it is. I love this. I feel like anytime we come to this part of France, I can't stop smiling. It's like, I love living in the United States, but like something about this Mediterranean climate and environment, it, it really speaks to me. Yeah, you have people out here on their nice sailboats. There was a little sailing regatta this morning. That's right. Uh, it's really, really nice. Super nice. All right, let's continue our tour. This balcony extends out. This is where we have the covered section. You have a nice outdoor dining area, more outdoor seating, and that's actually your formal dining room. We opened up the sliding glass doors, that way you get that indoor outdoor flow. And Mikey, there's a very subtle detail here that I wanna point out. This balcony has no drains. Well, it does have drains, but it's actually at the perimeter of the balcony. And if you look, there's a very subtle gentle slope and all the water collects at the edge of the railing. I've never seen a drain detail like this before. It looks very seamless, but yet, although it looks very elegant, it functions extremely well. So I had to point that out. I never would have noticed. There you go. Now, Mikey, let's show this side. That's a sliding glass door off of the entry. So from the front door, you can come straight to your balcony and continuing our tour, we're coming to this second part of the upstairs balcony. Sliding glass doors again, open up. One more time, look at these views. It's phenomenal out here. It's so nice and peaceful. I'm honestly loving it out here. Really nice. Now. We have additional outdoor seating area there, and if you follow the balcony, it actually goes all the way to the primary bedroom, which we're gonna check out in a bit. And thanks to these recessed forward or set forward columns, they allow all these sliding glass doors to set nicely on each side and open up to this amazing family room. Super spacious. I love this seating setup here. 
with kind of U-shaped couches facing each other, not the TV. That way you can just sit down and conversate with someone on the other side rather than just all facing it to the TV, although they have it right around the corner here. It's a good old-fashioned living room. You can talk to people, you know? Exactly. This house is all about conversating and enjoying the moment, right? We have the vaulted ceiling above with cove lighting detail. You have your recessed lights around the edge of this room, fireplace on the other side, walls of glass opening up. In fact, I have another set of sliding glass doors right behind me, opening up to a very intimate, closed off patio space, surrounded with beautiful landscaping. You have your outdoor seating area here. This is phenomenal. If I took a photo here, send it to someone, they may think I'm in Hawaii. Look at this. I mean, you're in Saint-Tropez, which is, it's... Kind of comparable, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty it's, nice. It's not like you're in like Phoenix or something, you know? Exactly. Yeah. All right, we have this hallway taking us to the primary bedroom. I love the walls of glass that are facing the water feature on one side and the courtyard on the other. And continuing here, we have the staircase going down to the lower level and the door in front of me opens up to a powder room. Beautiful finishes, same limestone floors are also here. We have a floating vanity design here with chrome fixtures and a separate water closet here with a sliding glass door that opens up to the balcony in case you want to elevate your experience a little bit. It's like a little balcony bathroom then. That's right. Now, we have this door opening up to the primary bedroom suite. Off of the entry, we have some built-ins, cabinets, LED lighting, and another espresso machine. And going through here, we have these sliding pocketing doors open up to the walk-in closet. Pretty spacious, massive window facing the back of the property, open shelving, LED lighting, drawers on the bottom, everything you need. Now, continuing back, to our tour. Before we check out the bedroom setup, I want to go around the corner and start our tour with the primary bathroom. We have same limestone floors also here, floating vanity design with towel rack on the bottom, fabricated countertops with hinge drains, chrome fixtures, recessed in mirrors, track lights above, and this door right here opens up to a water closet with some extra storage, and the door next to that opens up to the walk-in shower. Beautiful natural stone finishes, bench design, shampoo niche with LED lighting, massive rain head above, beautiful bathroom, and around the corner, we have a freestanding tub with another sliding glass doors facing the amazing views of Saint-Tropez. Now, getting back into the bedroom, it's super spacious, beautiful oak hardwood floors. We have a desk set up here, beautiful king-size bed here, all facing the incredible views. Room is super, super cozy. And to go with that seamless look, this built-in setup right here actually has a pop-up TV. That way it's positioned right in front of your bed. We have the first set of sliding glass doors behind the TV unit facing the views. And we have another sliding glass doors here opening up to the side of the property. Overall, great bedroom. This is where you lay down. Enjoy this amazing property. Yeah, let's check out that bag. Let's do it, right? So we have this spacious side yard here we have planters on the other side and the landscaping here is beautiful. I mean, you got lemon trees, palm trees, olive trees, staircase going down to your lower level. And this part of the backyard is all dedicated for the primary bedroom suite. And that wraps our tour on the main level. Now let's go back inside, take the stairs and check out the lower level. All right, everyone. Here we are on the lower level. We have seven spacious guest suites on this level, gym, movie theater, and a phenomenal backyard that we're gonna see in a bit. I'm gonna start with the gym, off of the landing, beautiful hardwood floors, your Techno Gym equipment, mirrored wall with a TV, and we have a nice subtle lighting here. And I love that they enclose this entire room with glass, allowing natural light to come in. Now, let's take this hallway, Mikey. We have the same limestone floors also here. I love this floor lighting that they have. I'm sure it looks even better at night. And we have four of the guest suites on this wing and we have the movie theater right at the end. I'm gonna start with this door. Off of the entry, we have the water closet on the right hand side, wardrobe space on the left, and this opening takes us to the bathroom itself. Natural stone floors that goes all the way into walk-in shower. We have a rain head above, shampoo niche, and over here you have your vanity set up, beautiful darker tones, and a freestanding tub with a heated towel rack. Now going into the bedroom, beautiful hardwood floors, nice and spacious. We have a king size bed set up here, TV on the other side, and all the bedrooms on the lower level have sliding glass doors opening up to that amazing backyard that we're gonna check out in a bit. Now, going back to the hallway, we got three more bedrooms to see on this wing that we're gonna quickly check out. 
The other one is right next door. It starts right here. Off of the entry, we have the bathroom. Again, pretty much same finishes. Floating vanity with a towel rack, nice and spacious water closet here. You have your wardrobe set up on the hallway and it brings you to the bedroom. Nice lighter tones, another king size bed, TV on the other side. This is a very European thing, Mikey. Bedrooms on the lower level, all opening up to the backyard. I mean, when I said this home is a great vacation rental, I really meant that. Look at it. I mean, you have your infinity edge pool right there. It's, it's awesome. It's a very Hawaiian thing too. It does have a tropical feel to it, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, with the palm trees, the landscaping, the natural stone uh, textures throughout, it's great. Now, this is where we have the third bedroom. We have all these vertical glass panels bringing natural light to the entry. On my right, we have the walk-in shower. Again, very spacious with a floating vanity design, all clad with natural stone. You have your water closet right across from that. And this is the bedroom itself. Nice lighter tones, another set of sliding glass doors opening up to the amazing backyard. Bedrooms are great. Now, let's go check out the fourth bedroom. But before we do that, I actually want to take everybody to another room. By the way, I mentioned it earlier, that bridge that takes us to the primary bedroom, we're right below that. So you have water feature and a courtyard on each side. Now, fourth bedroom is here. Staircase coming down from the second floor. And Mikey, let's go through here. We have a door on our right hand side, a powder room and this door opens up to the screening room located on this level. You have plush carpet, these built-in seating sections that looks like sun beds, surround sound, TV on the other side, and I like that this room doesn't have any windows, so you get that full concentrated feel. Now, Mikey, let's go back to the landing of that staircase because right across from that, we have the fourth bedroom on this wing. Coming this way, again, hardwood floors, another spacious bathroom, this one has a freestanding tub with a handheld, natural stone everywhere, just very tasteful. Coming here, this bedroom comes with two single beds. I love the pop of color right here with the bed setup, accessories, and right on the other side, we have built-in closets, desk setup right in the center with a TV. Now, just like the other guest suites, this one also has sliding glass doors opening up to the backyard. And now we can actually see all four bedrooms that we just toured from the exterior. They're all picked up by this walkway here that takes you down to the lower side of this amazing backyard. Off of the staircase, we have this covered patio section here, beautiful stacked stone on the walls, outdoor seating area here. And behind that, you have this bar set up with another espresso machine, your sink, dishwasher, utility access. And Mikey, we gotta show this. We have this seamless door opening up to a bathroom dedicated for this level and your pool area. Now, continuing our tour, we have a nice water feature on the left-hand side. Again, landscaping of this property, not just this backyard, it's phenomenal. The olive trees, the hedges, super inviting. It literally feels like we're in Hawaii. You have all these sun beds, glass railing throughout, even on this lower level to take nothing away from the amazing views of Saint Tropez. And now we have this incredible 20 meter infinity edge pool right in front of us with zero edge. I mean, it looks stunning. It's very contemporary and kind of timeless. And they carried out these natural stone finishes off of the patio into the pool setup here as well. Super inviting. And we have all these extra sun beds, umbrellas, again, to elevate your outdoor experience here in this backyard. It's very, very nice. And I like how you say, when we're in Los Angeles, you're like, it literally feels like we're in France. And now we're in France. You're like, it literally feels like we're in Hawaii. You know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just keep, well, uh, because the property is super tranquil, Mike. I mean, look at the surroundings here. It's yeah. so nice. Not what you imagine when you think of France. Really, it really isn't. I yeah. mean, like the grass here, the landscaping, I mean, property is nicely elevated and they took advantage of this the elevation difference so well. In fact, if you look at the property from the exterior, you can see all these terraced levels all the way down to the street. I love this lower section here with the stacked stone design, all these bedrooms flowing to the backyard. And on the main level, we can see the stucco finish, glass railing, and those oversized balconies where you can really appreciate these amazing views. Now, Mikey, there's actually one more section here that we've kind of skipped at the landing of the lower level. Let's go up these stairs. 
If you actually take this walkway, it brings you to the landing of the lower level. We have another sliding glass doors there. And this whole left wing underneath this main cantilevered balcony, we have three spacious guest suites that has their own ensuite bathrooms. And we also have the laundry room, secondary staircase access that goes all the way up to the main kitchen on the top floor. Now, a lot of interior square footage, a lot of bedrooms on the lower level, so we wanted to cover it all. And going down here, your backyard pretty much continues. Again, every inch of this backyard is either landscaped or converted into some sort of an outdoor space, which is phenomenal, olive trees. In fact, the lawn continues here and goes down all the way to the street level. This is phenomenal. Without a doubt, one of my favorite homes here in France. And that wraps our tour of this property, but of course we're gonna spend a few more hours here, wait for the sun to go down so we can see this place at dusk. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. As always, you can find more information about this property down in the description of this video. Also, let us know in the comment section below if you've been enjoying our episodes from Europe and if you have any other suggestions in terms of countries or areas, who knows, we might be there for our next episode. And lastly, make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.